In this video, Wuss and I are spending 100 days on the Happy Cloud server. The challenges for this video are simple. We have to create a new team every 20 days and battle with those teams. And at the end, create our best possible teams and then battle it out. And for the final day, we'll be doing a battle including loads of shiny legendary Pokemon. Also, if you aren't already subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video and let's get right into this. For the stars, we had a choice of either the normal stars or some custom stars. I ended up going over routes as my rival went the Shinx. We then had our normal rival battle, but my rival ended up beating me in this first battle, so we won't go to the final scores though. We then found those daily and weekly challenges for us that we could do throughout these days, which was so cool. We then found a move learner and some move trees. This meant we could learn any move whenever we wanted to, as long as we had the right materials. We then found the level grinder and also the EV trainer, and then went to open some crates. I got myself an elytra, which was pretty cool, and I also got myself an epic crate. With this epic crate, I got a random shiny and resize, and I got myself a shiny Porygon. However, my rival actually got a paper which allowed him to have a choice of a non legendary shiny, and he ended up choosing Volcarona. We then went on a hunt around spawn for these eggs, and in this egg, I got a random Pokemon paper, and it got me a Dragonite. That's so cool. After this, we went on a hunt for a random shiny Ditto, which was placed around this gym, and if you won, you'd get a big reward. However, I was unable to find the Ditto, but on the bright side, I did catch a Magneton. We then went to this small village, which we wanted to call home for now. But then, we found out there was hunts on this server, and that's so cool, I started a duckler hunt. And what was nice about this server, is the Pokemon that you're hunting for would emit a purple particle, and for catching, I got paid 35,000 Poke Dollars. I then evolved my routes into a Curlia, and even found a wild Charmeleon. I then went and healed up and headed to the level grinder, where I evolved my Laron into an Abgron and also my Charmeleon into a Charizard. After this, I went and got myself a Larvitar and a Hone Edge, and I even evolved my Hone Edge all the way up into an Aegislash. And going through these routes, it made you feel like you were actually playing a new Pokemon game. And for the first gym that we came across, it was a Bug Gym. Later on, we did find out that we actually skipped the gym. We'll come back to that gym later though. But thanks to my Dragonite, we easily stomped the first gym. After we had discovered more of the route, we then went and found some high level trainers and it meant that we could level up our Pokemon a little bit easier for the lower levels and it wasn't just training through Dragonite. I then started to prep for Mine and Wilson's battle as I wasn't sure what moves I wanted on my Pokemon yet. Anyways, as me and Wilson logged back in, I had some crates and I got myself 50-50 crate but unfortunately I only managed to get a shiny throw. This could have been so much better though. Me and Wilson were almost ready to battle but in the distance I saw a shiny Delmise which I had to catch first. And after finally catching it, it was time for the battle. We both start with our starters, but end up switching them pretty soon, which led to me getting a big advantage with Magneton, fainting his Scyther, but soon after, he returned the favour with Volcarona. It then came down to our two biggest hitters of Volcarona and Dragonite, but luckily, Dragonite prevailed, but not without a cost of being burned. But even with the burn, Dragonite ended up taking out Basque Legion, Charizard, and he finally did take out Luxray, which meant I had won the first big rival battle. I now had to decide my new team, I chose to start the Swine Up. I dropped the rest of my team into this separate box, so when it came to it, I knew my previous team, so I wouldn't have to scramble through my boxes. I then evolved Swine Up up into Pillar Swine, and then I went ahead and taught him Ancient Power so I could get a Mamo Swine. I then picked up a Coughing and started to explore the routes as I wanted to get a Galarian Weezing. I also got a new team member in Electabuzz, and I also ended up catching a Scyther and a Nidoking. I wasn't sure if I wanted them on my team just yet, but I knew I wanted a Darmanitan, so this went straight onto the team. I also mainly explored the desert for fire types, as the only way you can ever get a Galarian Weezing is by evolving Coughing when it is burned. I then started a hard hunt for a Silly Cobra, and it was really easy to get, and I got myself a lot of money from winning it. After this, I got myself a Machoke and evolved it into a Machamp. And then afterwards, I finally managed to burn my coughing so I could get myself a Galarian Weezing. But I wasn't done there for my evolutions, as I then did a Trove Wilson so I could get myself an Electivire. After this, I finally went back to the first gym and got myself the basic badge. This is two gym badges for me right now. We then kept exploring the routes and we found a new gym. And this gym, I was really unlucky on it. As even though I would have lost the battle, I got caught in a glitch that the game has. So, unfortunately, I couldn't get the gym badge right now. I'd have to come back another day. However, all hope wasn't lost, as I went back to the level grinder, so I'd get myself a Flygon at this point. 
and my team's levels were all around the same now. So this was really good and I was ready for the gym when I could get back to it. And I then had this paper which gave me a random shiny Pokemon. And what did it give me? A shiny Shuppet. I know it's not amazing, but ghost types are really cool shiny Pokemon. And finally I had a chance to go back to the gym and I managed to win. This gave me the Glacier Badge. We then kept exploring the routes and seeing these random Pokemon on it as well. So all trainers usually had a specific theme, but now these trainers didn't. However, we did end up finding that it was a dojo, so we knew it was a fighting type gym. But unfortunately, once again with this gym badge, I got caught in a glitch. When my champ had managed to beat this guy's low punny, but when the Heracross came out, when my champ had lost to it. However, it just glitched me, so I was stuck on waiting. I then managed to go to this Mesa, and I got myself a bag on. If you guys watched my previous videos, you know how much I love Salamance. Before doing this R2 raid as well, Minwoosom found that there was a Landorus. We couldn't believe it. We needed to go find it ASAP. We did end up finding it, and I managed to hit it with a Pokeball. And luckily for me, I had two Pokeballs on me. This meant the capture was really easy for me. Now, Wilson's going to have a chance to get a lot of legendary Pokemon, so I needed to capture this as this would be probably my only legendary Pokemon that I get in the main battles with Wilson. I then had a hunt for a Shroomish, and after searching these Mushroom Binds for ages and catching loads of Shroomish, I did manage to finally get it and get 80,000 Poké Dollars and also a specific Pokemon. However, now it's time for our rival battle, and in this, we started off with Weezing and Stoutland. I poisoned the Stoutland as I knew I needed to stall it, and he switched out of it when he saw my Darmanitan. But Darmanitan was able to take out Lapras. This is a huge hit for me. It then came to a point where Crocodile took out Darmanitan. But it came down to Flygon and Stoutland. Now, I had set up a Dragon Dance. So I was ready for anything that Wilson could throw at me. And I was going to try and sweep his team with just Flygon. However, because of the Rocky Helmet Stoutland was holding. When he brought Decidueye out, he was able to sucker punch me and kill me. This wasn't good for me. But thanks to Mammoth Swine, I took out the rest of his team, even his shiny Tapu Koko, and won our second rival battle. As we just had a rival battle, we had to choose our new teams. I decided to add Landris, Tynamo, and Shuppet, and Wilson was showing me all his new custom textures, like his Umbreon and Galaxy Marwell. They looked so cool. I also had specific Pokemon papers. I chose Salamence, Blissey, and Swampart, but I wasn't sure if I'd use all of these just yet. Wilson then showed me his Ultra and Necrozma, as he had a specific Pokemon paper for a legendary Pokemon. And he shows Ultra and Crossma. How am I going to beat this thing? I then decided to add a Metagross to my team, as I love Metagross and it's got such good typing. After this, I went up and leveled my Pokemon. I dropped Landorus out as I didn't want to overlevel him, and I kept them all around the same. I then went to the routes to do a bit more leveling. I'm going to show you guys what these routes look like, as they're so cool, and it just makes you feel like you're actually playing the games, as it's got different biomes that you go through, and depending on the biome, it depends on the type of Pokemon you face and the Pokemon trainers level up accordingly. We then made it to the next gym, but I wasn't ready just yet, as I had my reveal glass and wanted to use it on Landorus, as I wanted to make him in the Thenal form, as I felt like his stats worked better on my team. I did, however, lose to the gym leader. I then decided to make this new pixel art, as I really like making pixel art food. And it's just something that uses a bit of time. Let me know in the comments what you think of this pixel art, as it took really long to make, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But let me know what you guys think. If you haven't guessed already, it's an Ultra and Crossma. Here's a bird's eye view of it, or should I say a Metagross eye view. It looks really cool, and I'm happy with how it turned out. So once again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Wilson then showed me that he had a cloning chamber, so this meant he could put a Mew in and get a Mewtwo out. It's either a Mewtwo or a Ditto chance, but luckily he got Mewtwo. But as soon as the Mewtwo had a chance to run, it took its chance and went. Me and Wilson went chasing after it though. It's flying absolutely everywhere, and we just couldn't hit with the Pokeballs. Luckily though, Wilson did manage to catch up to it, and got into a battle with it. And obviously, after getting straight to the battle with it, he threw his mass ball, and he ended up catching the Mewtwo. After this, he had another cloning chamber chance, and this time he got a Ditto. But I decided to do a little bit of trolling, and I got in the battle with the Ditto. I decided I would try and catch it to start off with, but then I thought I'd run away and let Wilson get the Ditto. But unfortunately, I didn't know that if I run away, the Ditto just despawns. So, no Ditto for him this time. He did, however, get a second chance at a Ditto, and I wasn't allowed to keep it. It was then time for our rival battle, as it's day 60. This rival battle, I felt confident. Going into it, 
I saw the Tyranitar and instantly took out his Marwell thanks to Earthquake. After this though, he managed to get a few good plays on me. Burnett did okay against Mew, but Skarmory was a big problem as it kept toxicing my whole team so I had to keep switching into Metacross to try and stop it. After this I did finally take out the Skarmory, but not without my T-Tar being poisoned. I managed to take out his Dragonite pretty quickly, even after being hit with a big Aquatel. Thanks to his Stone Edge, easy. However, Umbreon was a big challenge as well, as it Toxic stalled me out thanks to having Protect. And this Umbreon was a big problem for me, and one of Wilson's MVPs of this battle. I had to get Landorus to take it out, but it was so difficult to take out his last Pokemon, as he had a Porygon 2. Porygon 2 took out all of my team. I had 5 Pokemon left, but this Porygon 2 took out everything. Metagross, Landorus, absolutely everything. Porygon 2 is too strong. Fortunately, this meant Wilson got his first win, and me, I got my first loss. By the start of the next few days, we had a 5 star raid down with the Leafon, and got some good rewards. However, I wasn't sure what I actually wanted on my team, so I was in a bit of a panic of what I wanted. I decided that I'd pick up an Escavalier for sure, and I also wanted an Aerodactyl, but I still just couldn't sign the rest of my team. I decided to pick up a Gyarados though, as I know it's got a really good attack, but as you can see how long we're in my team, that NC left, and I decided I would go with a little bit of a fossil theme, so I picked up a Lilip, as Cradilly is super strong. After picking up the Lilip, there was a Milotic raid then. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it, but Wilson did catch it. You guys will find out what this does later for me. I then went to the shop as there was a few things I would need to buy for the upcoming battle. So I did that and I bought a few Pokeballs and a few more items. I also added a Garchomp to my team and I was thinking about adding the shop but I realised I'd already used the fighting type so I thought I'll use something else so I decided to use a Zoroark. I then taught Zoroark a few new moves to make him a bit more tricky for Wilson to deal with and I went straight to levelling. These route trainers are really good as they carry really high XP Pokemon and I find them better than the level grinder. And this is all I did for day 75 really, just go around training. This is what my team was looking out for the levels. And for the next few days, I did the exact same thing, back to leveling as I needed to. I then took on the gym and this time I wasn't going to lose. I set up one dragon out to Gyarados and then took absolutely everything out. Aquatel takes down camera ups. Aquatel takes down her powder. Aquatel takes down extra. Aquatel takes down Mamoswine. Ice Fang takes down Garchomp. And finally, Aquatel takes down Diggers B. This is a super easy battle thanks to Gyarados. After this, I found this trainer at the back who had a Gigantamax Charizard. I couldn't lose this battle. So, I beat him pretty easily. And then straight after this, I went back to leveling as I needed to get my team around level 80. Which I did just that. Cradilly was the first there. And now we are ready for the next gym. This next gym was the Grass Gym. So I had a little bit of an advantage and just about won it thanks to a Scavalier being super strong against Grass types. Because we're on day 80, it was time for our next rival battle. I had a good start as I started with Aerodactyl against his Sceptile. But a surprising factor is Wilson brought in a Durant. And it was super strong against my team. I took out Aerodactyl by just living on 8. Then did take it out of Garchomp, luckily. But then his Mewtwo came out, and I stood no chance against his Mewtwo. Not to mention, he didn't just have Mewtwo, he also had his Ash Greninja. This battle was easy going to be Wilson's at the end of the day. And with that, it's 2-2 two -two on the scores. One last battle to decide it all. While deciding my team, I wasn't sure what I wanted just yet. Wilson would show me he had a specific paper for legendaries, and he also had legendary roulettes. So, he got a Lugia, showed me that he also got a Rayquaza. Rayquaza is probably my favourite Pokemon. I was super jealous of this. He would say it's Mewtwo, Ultra Necrozma, absolute everything. Just to make matters worse, he made his Rayquaza shiny. And, not just hit making his Rayquaza shiny, he also made his Ultra Necrozma shiny. Wilson had such a stacked team. How could I win this battle? For my final team, I still wasn't sure, because I really liked Porygon, but I knew Wilson would take Porygon in, so I wanted to be different. I thought about Age of Slash, but I ended up choosing Charizard. I also added the Milotic to my team that I did a trade with Wilson earlier on, which you guys saw. I finally got a Hippopotos for my team, so this would mean I had a Hippowder. Then when I did some leveling, 
and I got most of my team around the level 80 to 100. We then had to find the next gym leader, the Volcano Badge. This would be a fire gym. With my team, I felt an advantage apart from the Scavalier. And with that in mind, the battle went pretty smoothly and I won pretty easily. After this, we had one last gym, it was in a city. But before that, we went to this museum had loads of trainers and they told us that Team Rocket were taking over the city. We had to find Team Rocket's hideout to beat them. After being all the trainers in the museum, we went out and we found Team Rocket's hideout. It wasn't much, but it was still Team Rocket. We beat all of Team Rocket and this meant we had stopped Team Rocket from taking over the city. And with that, it's now down to the gym. This is it now, the final gym leader. I started with Charizard and he started with Agron. Luckily, he had a steel type team all around. And my team was pretty good against steel types, with a lot of ground types and a lot of resistances to steel. I managed to take out his Magnezone, had a Megros, which was scary, but I did end up taking out his team pretty easily, thanks to Landorus. And I got myself the final badge, the Mineral Badge. But with that, we had one day before our battle. So I got my team all the way up to level 100 and prepared for the battle against Wilson by buying specific battle items, selling items, and this meant that I could buy the best possible battle items for my team. Came down to this now. I started with Charizard and he started with Decidueye. This was a good matchup, but I knew Wilson would switch out straight away. I just didn't know into what. Luckily, I got the flame for off on his Porygon 2 and it burned it. My plan here was to hopefully take out his Porygon 2 with the Scavalier by setting up a sword set. But he switched out into Volcarona. I almost managed to kill it with the Iron Head, but for some reason I decided to stay in and it cost me my Scavalier early. I should have kept this alive with his high attack stat. However, Charizard came back out and once again he switched back to Porygon 2. His team was getting really difficult, but I took it out of Landorus, not at a cost with it getting burned. Then his Ash Greninja came out. Honestly, Ash Greninja was his MVP compared to his Ultra Necrozma and Rayquaza. Ultra Necrozma I got pretty low pretty early thanks to Charizard. When it came back out later, I would take it out. But the main problem was his Ash Greninja. No matter what I was in with, it would always cause the problem. Did take out Ultra Necrozma here you can see, thanks to Charizard using Air Slash. Somehow my Charizard was faster. It was probably the choice scarf I gave it. But then, I made an error here. I didn't know Water Shuriken was a priority move. I lost my Charizard because of that. I thought I could outspeed and potentially get the flinches. I took out Shiny Rayquaza thanks to an Ice Beam. Because I was on the Life Orb, I killed myself as well. Then came down to Powdon vs Ash Greninja. This was an easy win for it. So, Wilson had won this battle. As we still had 5 days left, me and Wilson wanted to do some crates, so we had these all or nothing crates and we'd create an entirely new team for this last battle. So we went to the crates and for my first one, I got myself a shiny Diancie. This could either be a shiny legendary or just a normal Pokemon, so I was super lucky to get a shiny Diancie. Wilson's first one, he ended up getting a Blossom, so I definitely got the better start. I then got a shiny Uxie, which got a shiny Reshram. But I then got really lucky and I got a shiny Mewtwo. We also then got Mistrevious and I didn't get one, but I got two shiny Mewtwo's. The luck in that is unreal. We also then got the shiny beginner, I got Strovia, then he got a Poliwag, then this was epic. Wait, go, go. Whoa, whoa, so, so. Yes! Yes! I got it! I got it, shiny raid! Yes! I got it! Yes! Sorry for your ears there, guys. I was super happy. Like I said, Rayquaza is probably my favorite Pokemon, and to get a shiny, which looks even cooler, was so awesome. Wilson finished off by getting a Lickitung, and then we showed our teams to each other, and mine clearly looks better. I had to win this last battle. We then went round leveling, and to end off, we had level 70 Pokemon. We then went to the move relader to finish off our moves. Now, the battle starts. I start with Sarapter, he started with Blossom. However, it ended up with Mewtwo and Miss Magius coming out. Now I had Shadow Ball. It wasn't smart staying on a ghost type, but with my Psycho type, I felt confident. It just lived, but so did my Mewtwo. I end up killing it with Uxie, and then we move on 
to the next one, which is his Politoed against my Saraptor. My Saraptor is really good for this as it had U-turn and I kept moving in and out of it. I then did lose one of my Mewtwo's, but against Rasham, I got the Earthquake off and with its Life Orb, it ended up killing itself. Then came down to Licky Licky versus Rayquaza. And you guys already know that Rayquaza was not gonna lose this battle. It is so good and it's honestly absolutely amazing. As well, I just want to thank the Happy Cloud server for giving us access to these crates so that we could do this last battle. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment on what your favourite part of the video was. It always helps me out and I can't thank you guys enough for the support that you guys are giving. Also in the comment section, let me know what you want to see next for my channel. I always look at the comments and I love the suggestions you guys give. These videos are a ton of fun to make, and especially when I do it with Wilson, it's always good to have that rival and a little bit of a challenge to the video. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.